Good morning. This is the BNFT Digest. I'm Lily Pearl Baba Utu. Professor Joshua Yindenaba Abo, Dean of the University of Ghana Business School, has said that the country needs to reform the existing business financing architecture to make it possible for more businesses to access formal finance. Private enterprises in Africa are mainly made up of SMEs, which constitute about 90% of businesses. The rationale for much emphasis on SMEs is based on the positive economic functions they perform. In spite of the important role played by SMEs, they are often confronted with a number of obstacles to the operations and growth, including limited access to finance, intense competition, stringent regulations, low managerial skills and limited access to international markets. President of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce, Nanapia J. Dankawoso I, has described the Ghana Exim Bank as a gap filler as it will provide funding for risk-averse areas of the economy, such as agriculture, where the traditional banks do not cover adequately. Export Development Finance Institution Exim Bank was recently launched to bolster the government's quest for an aggressive and sustainable export-led economy. DNCC is one of the key business associations that have long touted the bank as a sustainable antidote to the slugged access to finance, which continues to drag the growth of its members in the export and imports trade. KPMG Ghana Banking Industry Customer Satisfaction Survey has found out that branch banking remains the most dominant channel for customers' transactions in Ghana. The survey, which involved 600 retail banking customers interviewed in Accra, Kumasi and Takrade, found that branch remains the most dominant channel for customers' transactions in Ghana, with ATM usage trailing slightly behind. And that's all on the BNFT Digest. Grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper or visit our website, thebftonline.com, for more stories. Have a good morning. <music>